Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and also welcome to the wonderful Greek island of Kos. I was there on holiday for a couple of days and in this first video I would like to show you some archaeological sites that I visited. But of course, since this is a plant channel, I will focus mainly on the many and beautiful plants that were growing on these archaeological sites. And I was really mesmerized by the way that Mother Nature slowly but surely was reclaiming its rights on these ancient ruins. Kos turned out to be a very windy island, so I apologize for the noise that you will sometimes hear because of the wind. This was the first archaeological site that we visited on the island and I was really struck by how silent this place was, as if it was frozen in time. And as if it was the ultimate trophy, Mother Nature decided to grow a tree on top of this ruin. In a minute you will see that these quite weird flowers are actually lunch for a very surprising creature. And I was also surprised to see how some plants when they emerge really want to make a statement. A site like this is of course heaven for plants that love to grow on rocks. Some parts of this site were really a perfect mix of nature and ruins. Now here we have our surprising creature and it's a turtle and it's definitely on the hunt for lunch. In the beginning it was a little bit camera shy but that all changed once it spotted its favorite flower. So here we have a plant that doesn't use bees or other insects for reproduction, it uses a turtle. And apparently the flower is really delicious. But of course one single flower isn't enough to satisfy the appetite of such a big turtle. Luckily for this guy, there were hundreds of these flowers on this archaeological site. Now, this mystery plant, I'm almost sure that it's an aroid, was growing all over the island. I don't know what species or genus it is, but it was really everywhere. I really like the idea that the authorities there don't get rid of all the plants, they just let nature do its own thing. Only very exceptionally, they kept an archaeological site like this ancient well plant-free. Here we are in a different archaeological site, there we have our mystery aroid again, and this time around we are very high up in the mountains. And this really looks like a rock garden for which somebody has paid a lot of money. And once again, apart from the wind, there was absolute silence. And once again, hiding in that corner at the back, we have our mystery aroid. When I look at its leaves, I would say it's some kind of syngonium, but then when I look at the growing pattern, I would rather say that perhaps this is a philodendron. And what about this guy? Look at the tiny white stripes on its leaves. Even more surprising was this guy that looked like a tomatophyllum. Here you can see very well that we were very high up in the mountains and at the far back you can even see the sea.
And for a second I felt like I was in South America visiting an ancient Maya or Aztec site. One of the weirdest and almost alien-like plants was this guy right here. And if you are a plant and you want to grow here, you definitely shouldn't suffer from vertigo. Some of these rock plants really had stunning flowers. But I think that my biggest plant surprise on this island was this. This is a whole army of Adiantum radianum ferns growing on rocks. As you might know, these ferns are sold as houseplants, but they are very difficult to keep alive, except if you put them outside or if you keep them in a terrarium. I always thought that their foliage was way too delicate for direct sun, but apparently I was wrong. Now, a lot of ferns are actually epiphytic, so in a way it makes perfect sense that they grow on rocks. At first sight, this here actually looks like a prison for plants. And we have many prisoners eager to escape. Some even try to make it through the bars of the prison cell door. This is yet another archaeological site where some rock plants display their beautiful red flowers. Now, I think you would agree with me when I said that these aerial roots would make any Monstera plant blush. And who doesn't love to see a rock plant party with all the plants dancing in the wind? Now, there are a lot of stray cats on this island and this archaeological site even had a cave cat. These flowering rock plants are a perfect companion for this ancient statue. Okay, that's all for this first video about my botanical experience on the island of Kos. In the second video I will deal with all the house plants that I discovered on this beautiful island. Thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you again real soon on my channel. Bye-bye.